Um, when you are a woman human rights defender, uh, you often find yourself fighting on different level. Uh, first, as a human rights defender, where you are tackling very sensitive issues, where very um, uh, burning issues, uh, uh, working on injustices, working on violations. Already you are in a position where you are uh, very vulnerable. Plus, as a woman, because of your identity and your gender, uh, and living in societies mostly where there is no gender equality, and there are a lot of stereotypes uh, against women. So when you have those two um, identities in you, you are already have different layers of uh, challenges you need to face. And a lot of time, uh, society in many societies, uh, based on the stereotypes that has been there for forever, I think, uh, you are pushed away from certain spaces, public spaces mostly, uh, there are certain roles as a woman that you need to do as a mother, as a caretaker, in a private space. And uh, as a human rights defender at the same time, you push yourself outside in the public space where you fight with your fellow human rights defenders on issues uh, related to human rights. Already you are um, breaking this um, stereotype and you are pushing the limits uh, of society. Uh, so the attacks sometimes are even stronger when you are a woman and working on human rights and very different from what um, your uh, ma man friends can experience in, the, in their work. And it's important to highlight that because uh, you need also that society and other communities understand that uh, there are certain challenges that you need to face and there are certain issues that you need to, to raise uh, while doing your work. Um, another important issue is that um, when you are working on women's rights uh, specifically, uh, there are things that put you in even more danger because you are shaking the core foundation of a patriarchal society and uh, uh, the backlash or the reaction is even stronger because you are trying to change something that has been there in the culture for a long time, uh, which is, has been violating your rights because of who you are. And this is something that society doesn't accept uh, very lightly. And um, even though sometimes a lot of people agree on how it's important to uh, raise issues regarding human rights, uh, talking about civil and political rights, but when you started asking for equality, challenging the power relations in a d given society, this is where you put uh, really your life more, more at risk. Um, and why it's important to have women human rights defenders? Because then uh, women human rights defenders raise the issue of the core uh, reason of the problem. They go in um, more profoundly uh, talking about injustices. Uh, they raise the issue of systems, of oppressive systems like patriarchy, uh, and they relate, they make the link between human rights violation, between uh, racism, uh, homophobia, uh, all kind of uh, violations that are interrelated and they're very much dependent uh, coming from the kind of uh, system that we are living in which is patriarchal guided by patriarchal values and uh, women human rights defenders are more keen to work on intersectionally on issues and uh, look at oppression and violation on from different areas and not uh, through one uh, element so that is why it's important to have the input of women human rights defenders. And it's important also to think uh, how, when we're talking about protecting human rights defenders uh, and empowering them, we need to know better the challenges that specifically women human rights defenders are facing. So the protection mechanism sometimes differ for them. So uh, while listening and hearing the stories of struggle um, and the kind of threats that they receive, which are very uh, could be very different. Uh, it will help us to better uh, have a better mechanism and response for the protection of uh, hum women human rights defenders.